Why Meghan is not loved, five scandalous stories of the Duchess of Sussex. During her marriage to Prince Harry, his wife Meghan has not been able to become another favorite of the British people, which is her main competitor, the Duchess of Cambridge Catherine. Today, on Meghan's birthday, we remember the Duchess of Sussex's actions, which did not contribute at all to the nation's love. Follies at the Wedding No one doubts that Meghan Markle, a lioness by horoscope and an ambitious lady by life, has a difficult character. Aspirations to do everything in her own way Meghan had in before the wedding with Prince Harry. Their wedding took place on May 19, 2018 in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. One of Meghan's first unspoken conflicts with Queen Elizabeth II happened just before the wedding. It was little talked about, but it took place. It is known that Elizabeth II often lends royal brides tiaras, and Meghan was no exception. The Queen lent her a diamond tiara of her grandmother, Queen Mary, but Meghan found the jewelry too old-fashioned and asked for a tiara with a large emerald in the middle, we saw it on the head of Princess Eugenie of York on her wedding day. Needless to say, Elizabeth II was outraged by such directness, if not to call it insolence? The monarch reminded her that her wedding was not her first and there was no need for a tiara and veil. At this point, all disputes came to naught, and at the ceremony the public saw the Duchess in a diamond tiara. Another unpleasant moment at the wedding happened during the preparation of St. George's Chapel for the ceremony. Meghan wanted to scent the air in the chapel with special diffusers, as she didn't like the smell in the ancient chapel. Her Majesty again did not allow it, advising grandson Harry and his future wife to be more modest. Pregnancy Announcement Five months after their wedding, Meghan and Harry delighted fans with the wonderful news that the Duchess of Sussex is pregnant. And they found no better time to announce it to their family members than to do it at the wedding of Princess Eugenie of York the same one who walked down the aisle in the tiara Meghan wanted so badly, and Jack Brooksbank. It was very ugly on their part. First, Prince Harry's cousin Eugenie had to postpone the wedding for a month, originally the wedding was supposed to take place in September, because Meghan and Harry went on tour just at that time. And then, like a knife in the back, on a day when all eyes are on the happy bride, the Sussexes announced to everyone their happy news, pregnancy. We must give credit to Princess Eugenie who never once commented on the situation after the wedding. Scandalous Cover Being pregnant, the Duchess of Sussex continued to work and attend various events, accompanying her husband to them. And a month after the birth of her son, she had the opportunity to become a guest editor of the British magazine Vogue. It's unlikely that Meghan Markle would have ever gotten such an offer if she wasn't Prince Harry's wife, right? When the Sussexes unveiled this cover on their Instagram page, another scandal erupted. The cover featured 15 heroines of varying ages and professions. The theme of the issue was the power of change. Just on the day of its publication, another cover surfaced on the web. Namely a book by two Australian writers Samantha Brett and Steph Adams. In 2016, they published the book Changing the Rules of the Game, it came out with a very similar cover, Meghan Markle shown on it. The book became a bestseller and was reissued with a color cover in 2017. And again among the heroines was the Duchess Meghan. After that, a barrage of criticism and accusations of plagiarism fell on Meghan. But the Duchess did not comment on anything, perhaps such advice was given to her by numerous royal aides. Over time, this story was forgotten, but apparently not all. Exit from the royal family. In January 2020, Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry made a strong statement that they want independence and want to resign from all royal powers. The unexpected statement for the palace and Queen Elizabeth II 